Throughout history, our exploration of the far reaches of space has focused primarily on unraveling mysteries that have remained hidden for long periods in the cosmic vastness. This is because space is governed by an intricate harmony where although celestial entities are in constant motion, they mostly follow predictable patterns. However, we are currently facing an unparalleled event, a situation that challenges the foundations of our consolidated knowledge. Instead of revealing only what already exists, we are now faced with an inexplicable revelation, as if the universe has revealed a completely unexpected secret. The James Watt Space Telescope has just identified the presence of 750 huge objects emerging in our solar system. This leads us to consider installing an even larger telescope in space, which raises the question of how to accomplish this endeavor. Join us as we take a close look at these objects and their potential to lastingly alter the dynamics of our solar system. The detection of enigmatic apparitions is actually not a new phenomenon in the history of astronomical observation. Over the centuries, there have been instances when new elements appeared to have emerged within our solar system. However, circumstances have not always evolved as anticipated. The James Watt Space Telescope has made a discovery that defied what was thought impossible until now. It has detected the presence of 750 large objects that seem to have appeared out of nowhere. These objects have appeared in a particularly intriguing location known as the Cupier Belt, a region beyond the orbit of Neptune in our solar system. This belt, a vast area in space, is home to a diversity of celestial bodies such as comets, asteroids, and remnants of the early formation of our solar system. Collectively, these cosmic objects and entities are referred to as the Kuiper Belt and present unique characteristics that guarantee valuable information about the nature and composition of this highly intriguing region. In terms of mass, the Kuiper Belt is estimated to be 20 to 100 times more massive than the asteroid belt located between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. The latter is an extensive interplanetary area that hosts most of the asteroids in our solar system, as well as serving as a repository for various rocky fragments from the early stages of planetary formation. Asteroids vary in size, shape, composition, and ranging from small rocks to objects of hundreds of kilometers in diameter. The asteroid belt can be divided into two distinct zones, the inner belt and the outer belt. The inner belt is composed of asteroids orbiting closer to Mars than the so-called Kirby-Wood resonance in Gap 1, which lies approximately 2.5 astronomical units away. Beyond this gap is the outer belt, which hosts asteroids that like closer to Jupiter's orbit. This division arises due to gravitational interactions between these asteroids and the neighboring large planets. Despite the immensity of the area it covers, the asteroid belt exhibits a very low density of objects. This sparse population is due to the fact that the average distance between asteroids is measured in tens of thousands of kilometers. This relatively dearth of objects makes it easy for unmanned space probes to navigate the belt with relative ease, either as part of missions exploring the far reaches of our solar system or on expeditions focused on the study of large asteroids. These provide valuable data and capture images that shed light on the composition, structure, and history of these rocky bodies. However, it is relevant to note that despite the extent of the asteroid belt, its total mass is comparatively small relative to other celestial bodies. In fact, the combined mass of all the asteroids in the belt is approximately 3% of the mass of the Earth's moon. In contrast, if we compare the combined mass of the objects present in the Kuiper belt, this amount is even smaller, constituting less than 1%. This discrepancy tells us that, although the Kuiper Belt harbors a considerable amount of material, its total mass is relatively small compared to our own planet. 
the objects that make up the Cooper Bell exhibit diversity in terms of size, shape, and composition. The set of 750 objects may be just off the tip of the iceberg, as if it is estimated that there could be as many as 100 million smaller, less luminous objects with diameters of 12 miles or less. These smaller objects, which are more challenging to detect, play a considerable role in the Kuiper Belt population, leading to a need for a comprehensive investigation to more accurately classify the Kuiper Belt elements. To simplify categorization, scientists have grouped these objects into two main categories, classical cables and resonant cables. Classical cables follow stable orbits that are not significantly influenced by Neptune's gravitational force. On the other hand, resonant cables exhibit a unique relationship with Neptune, where their orbital periods are synchronized in specific resonance relationships with Neptune's orbital period. This causes them to interact more strongly than they would if they were simply occupying their own orbits. This resonance relationship gives rise to stable orbit and is a result of the intricate gravitational interactions that shape the dynamics and the three-dimensional structure of the Kuiper belt. In terms of its three-dimensional structure, the main concentration of Kuiper belt objects extend to about 10 degrees out of the plane of the ecliptic. In addition, there is a more dispersed distribution of objects extending in different directions, contributing to the diverse and complex nature of this region. Further understanding of this phenomenon requires a detailed discussion of the concept of the ecliptic plane. The ecliptic plane is a reference in which most of the planets, including the Earth, orbit the Sun. This plane serves as a basis for locating celestial objects within our solar system. The Kuiper belt differs from this ecliptic plane by showing an inclination, which implies that the orbital paths of objects in the Kuiper belt do not simply coincide with the orbits of the planets, but instead they have a unique spatial orientation that distinguishes them. This makes these objects even more remarkable, as mentioned above. The main concentration of objects within the Kuiper belt extends to about 10 degrees out the ecliptic plane. This means that a portion of the Kuiper belt population follows orbits that are inclined with respect to planetary orbits. These inclined orbits result in a clustering of objects that form a dense and compact region within a specific range of angles. In addition to this main concentration, there is a more dispersed distribution of objects extending several times farther out. This suggests that others beyond the main concentration there are cables that possess a wider range of inclinations and are scattered over a larger volume of space. These objects have the ability to follow more elliptical orbits with steeper inclinations. This dense distribution of objects in the Kuiper belt gives us an idea of how the impressive extent of this region within our solar system. This means that the Kuiper belt is not just a thin layer, but rather a three-dimensional expanse of celestial bodies. This expansive nature provides ample space to host a considerably large diversity of cables, Jupiter belt objects, each of its own unique orbital characteristics, size, and composition. What we have explored so far represents only the tip of the iceberg, as there is much more to investigate regarding these objects. Understanding their properties and determining the composition of the Kuiper belt objects poses a unique challenge due to their complexity. Directly observing these objects is often impractical, so astronomers must employ alternative approaches to study their physical characteristics. Let us know what you think in the comments box, and if you liked the video, remember to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on more content like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.